Soundstripe.
morning, everyone. We'll shut it down. Oh, come on, we can do better than that. Good morning, everyone. Woo, good job. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. We still have a few students coming in from the top, making their way down to the floor, which is fantastic. We'll give you all just a, another minute or two.
Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good. Um, well, welcome to your graduate school orientation. I am Misty Stewart, Director of Graduate Student Success, and I am thrilled that you have joined us today. Um, this orientation is just one part of a robust onboarding experience that we hope you benefit from to ensure your success as a graduate student here at Clemson. Before we get started, I have a few quick announcements to make. The orientation schedule can be found periodically on the screens throughout the day on either side of the stage here. Um, after convocation, there will be a 15 minute break and then we will go into our programming at 10 o'clock. Lunch will be available at 1230. If you have any questions or need assistance, please feel free to ask one of our graduate ambassadors. Um, they are wearing the white graduate school t-shirts and they may even have a button on that says, ask me, I'm a graduate student. All right. So we have a full day planned for you and some very important folks here on stage who want to welcome you to Clemson. So let's get right to it. Jim Clements is in his eighth year as president at Clemson University. Since his arrival, the value of the tiger paw has never been higher. Driven by the university's elevated academic reputation and the exposure from Clemson University's athletic success on the national stage. Under President Clement's leadership, Clemson has raised the bar in academics, admissions, enrollment, research, retention rates, graduation rates, and diversity. President Clements has also led the way in helping to raise more than $1.2 billion in private funds since he arrived at Clemson. He is a nationally recognized leader in higher education, an award-winning faculty member, a researcher, and a scholar, and a published author. You've been a little busy. <laughs> Please help me to welcome the 15th president of Clemson University, Dr. Jim Clements. Well, thank, thank you, Misty, for those very kind words. Good morning, go Tigers. Everybody feeling good? All right, good morning, go Tigers. All right, I'm really excited to be with you today, uh, and I'm honored to welcome you to the 2021 Graduate Student Convocation. For those of you who completed your undergraduate degree at Clemson, welcome home. And to those of you who are here for the first time, welcome to the Clemson family. We are delighted that you decided to join this great university. So I'm thrilled that you are here, and I know that you are going to love it at Clemson. Your graduate student journey really begins right here, right now. And graduate education is a challenging process. It takes hard work and dedication. And the fact um, that you are willing to take it on speaks volumes about your commitment. In fact, when you complete your degree, you will be in rare company because not many people actually make it to this level of education. According to the National Center for Education Statistics, only about 9% only about 9% of adults in the United States have a master's degree or higher. Think about that just for a moment, just 9%. If you're going for a doctorate, it's even more rare. Only about 2% of adults in the U.S. have a doctorate. I think it's important to put that in perspective. What an accomplishment it truly will be to succeed at this level. And I know you can, and I know you will. And I want you to know that you'll have a lot of people at this university who are pulling for you to be successful. We want you to succeed. Our faculty, staff, administrators all believe in you. 
as do your fellow graduate students. We believe you can and will join our strong legacy of outstanding graduates. I was a first-generation college graduate. My parents didn't have the financial resources to attend college, but they taught me and my three older siblings that education was a key to a better life, not just for an individual, but for society as a whole. And we listened. Between me and my three siblings, we actually earned 12 college degrees, including four bachelors, five masters, two PhDs, and an honorary doctorate. The reason why I got into higher education was to give others the same opportunity that I was given by getting a formal education. Another thing that my parents, specifically my mother, taught me was to make a difference. When I was a young man, every day, my mom would tell me, make a difference. And she didn't say try to make a difference. She said make a difference. That small distinction instilled in me a sense of urgency. We must be willing to act with courage and conviction if we're going to make a difference. You are here to expand your knowledge in your chosen field, and I want to urge you to use what you learn during your time here at Clemson to have a positive impact on something that you care deeply about. And to know that you can make the world a better place, and we are counting on you to help shape the future. Also want to encourage you to do something uh, else. I want to encourage you to take care of yourself and take care of others as we continue to work through the COVID pandemic. Wear a mask when you need one. Consider getting vaccinated if you can. Wash your hands. And if you're sick, get tested and stay home. We're all counting on you to do your part so that we can have a safe and successful semester. So I do this with new undergraduate students every year, but I want to do this with this group as well today. I want to make a deal with you right now. I want to make a deal. All of you in this room and me, I want to make a deal. I want you to look at me. Look in my eyes. Look at me. Look right into my eyes. And let's agree. You won't quit. You won't give up. You won't transfer. You will work hard. And you will finish your degree. Do we have a deal? If we have a, all right, we have a deal. All right, shake your head. We have a deal. All right. Now, it's a deal between us, but it's also a deal with yourself, all right? You not only made a deal with me, but you just made a deal with yourself. And I need you to work hard, and I need you to make it happen, all right? I'm counting on you. I want to sign your diploma, and I want to shake your hand at graduation. So don't let me down, okay? The world needs you. We need you to be successful in life, and it really does take a team. So I want you to reach out help each other. If you see somebody in need, help them. We're family. We take care of each other. We support each other through the good times and through the hard times. I think what you will discover that the Clemson family is something very real and very special and very powerful. And as you study here at Clemson, please help us carry on our tradition of excellence that's more than 130 years old. And I know that you will work hard, and I know that you will make us proud, and I know that you will make a difference. I wish you the very best of luck, and go Tigers. Thank you, President Clements. All right. Uh, next, we will hear from Robert O'Hara, your graduate student government president. Good morning, my fellow graduate students. Good morning. Yeah, y'all can do better than that. Come on now. Good morning, graduate students at Clemson University. There we go. My name is Robert O'Hara, and I'm a doctoral candidate in the Learning Sciences program here at Clemson. As president of the graduate student government, it is my honor and privilege on behalf of the graduate student body to welcome you all to Clemson University. 
Today, you are on the precipice of a life-changing experience, beginning the journey towards your graduate degree. Now, for some of you, this is a first-time experience. For others, you've been here before. However, as developmental research shows us, we grow, learn, and change from every experience, whether they're new or old. You see, the downside of becoming a learning scientist is that I see all opportunities as learning opportunities. This welcome speech, for instance, an opportunity. Ergo, y'all gonna learn a little today. Plus, I'm also dissertating, so any distraction from that is welcomed. Um, if you are entering into a PhD program, trust me, you will feel that way one day. Now, I could spend my time here today talking about the academic prowess of Clemson University, reiterate the things that President Clements has just talked about today, the experience and the opportunity to have a Clemson graduate degree. Um, but I'm gonna hedge my bets and think that you probably already know that because that's why you're here today. So what I wanna do is give you a set of challenges for your time here. True to form for graduate education, these challenges might bring about some consternation from some of you, uh, but certainly all of you hopefully will, will grapple with them um, as you continue your graduate education journey here at Clemson. So challenge number one, take a second, look around the aud auditorium here today. These are your peers your colleagues, and future friends. Over the course of your time here at Clemson, make meaningful connections with them. Find your person or persons, the ones that are there for your highs, but more importantly, there for the lows. The ones that challenge you to not only do better, but be better. The ones that value your worth, even when you feel worthless. History, even before the earliest peoples rose up and walked out of Africa, has taught us that those meaningful connections and relationships are essential to human existence. Challenge two, take risks to an extent. Lean into the discomfort of learning and embrace the uneasiness of new experiences. Whether that's trying your ideas out in a new way, exploring diverse opportunities with your research, challenging the status quo, or interacting with people who come from vastly different walks of life. This is the time to continue that learning and growth here at Clemson. Finally, challenge three, get involved. Often we hear that graduate education can be a lonely endeavor. Particularly those who are on the PhD journey, you hear a lot about the experience of that journey is very lonesome and because you're working on your own research. It doesn't have to be that way. It isn't that way for me. Now don't get me wrong, there are moments when we struggle with our own work, but getting involved in, aspect, in all aspects of graduate life helps lessen the impact of those struggles uh, and brings about some compassion and partnership on that journey. So a shameless and not so shameless plug here. Um, the graduate student government is a great opportunity to tackle all three of those challenges. Uh, we are here as a resource and an advocating voice for the needs and concerns of graduate students here at Clemson. And I want to invite you all this afternoon uh, to a happy hour session with um, the graduate student government uh, at Nick's Bar and Tavern downtown um, from five to seven. We can answer questions you might have about it a little later on in the day, but I just wanted to plug that in there right now. So in closing, I wanna say I'm beyond excited to welcome you all to the Clemson family. And I hope to get to know many of you during the remainder of my time here. And I know I speak for 
the graduate student body when I say, welcome to Clemson and go Tigers. Thank you, Robert. And to wrap up the convocation portion of orientation this morning, Dr. John Lopes, Associate Provost and Dean of the Graduate School. Thank you, Misty. So you should be ready for this by now, right? Good morning. Good morning. All right. So welcome to Clemson. Um, thank you, President Clements and GST President O'Hara for joining us this morning. Uh, I'm sure it means a lot to uh, the students joining us that you're here today. Uh, so I want to share with you that uh, I just completed my first year at Clemson. I joined last year about this time. And I got to tell you, it was a great year. It was a great year. <laughs> so I, I'm sure you're probably wondering, you know, what's so great about a year that was all by Zoom and in a pandemic? But uh, I'm not lying to you when I tell you that it was really fantastic. Uh, part of what made it fantastic is that this is such an incredibly welcoming environment. You know, the people who are here uh, legitimately care about everybody around them and work to make people feel welcome. And so even though I met probably 99% of the people at Clemson this year via Zoom, uh, I'm just now starting to get caught up on how tall everybody is, because on Zoom they all look the same height. Uh, it's true that I felt every bit as welcome as if we had been in the same room together. And, and I think this year is going to be even better because now we can start to, to sort of reshape those relationships as we get into spaces together and, and more physically. So I, I want to start off by um, thanking the staff at the Graduate School, and especially Misty Stewart. She puts on this event with a lot of help from colleagues that you'll meet throughout the day. But let's give a round of applause for Misty Stewart. Uh, I encourage you to, uh, to take a look at the, the uh, directory of the Graduate School. You're going to meet a lot of those people today, throughout the day, and, and then you'll become familiar with them over your time at Clemson. Uh, but it's good to start sort of seeing the names. Uh, I will say, uh, in all deference to other staff on campus, I think we are the envy of the campus. We have the very best staff. Uh, these are folks who are incredibly dedicated to their craft. They're knowledgeable, they're passionate, and they're professional. And, and you'll see that as you interact with them on, on your, at your time here. We also have some great leadership that you're going to meet. Um, there's a few associate deans that you'll meet throughout the day that have very different functions. Later on today, you're going to meet Dr. Brian Dominey, who um, he's going to t be telling you about academic integrity. It's kind of a serious thing, and we, we take it seriously, but uh, he's going to bring his own flavor to that. You're going to meet uh, Dr. Tia Dumas, who uh, runs one of the enterprises in the graduate school that, that's really quite extraordinary. It's a Grad360 program that focuses on professional, personal career development. Uh, more and more graduate education has built this circle around the disciplinary and the research that we do in the scholarly works by uh, encompassing every other aspect of professional and personal development. This has become a focus around the country, and I think we're leading the country in that area because of programs like Grad360. Uh, you'll meet um, Dr. Farrell and Dr. Fleming at different times of the day. They uh, work on things like the curriculum that uh, you'll be taking and on a lot of the awards that we give out through the graduate school, and you'll get to meet some of those awardees today. We just, um, so Dr. Fleming is leaving us after this week to return to the College of Education, and there'll be a new associate dean taking his place, Dr. Natasha Kroom. She's extraordinary, uh, very committed, very knowledgeable in the area of graduate education, and it, we're really delighted to have her join us. One of the things I want to stress that, that President Clements and, and uh, Robert O'Hara pointed out is that uh, here we really do think of this environment as a family. 
the reality of it is you're going to be spending more time with each other and with people on this campus than you probably ever did with your own families at home. So we, we think about this as a family. It's very important that, that we recognize that. Part of what drives that, in addition to the folks at the graduate school that, that you'll meet, are people like President Clements and Provost Bob Jones who foster that sense in everything that they do. Uh, Provost Jones couldn't be here today. He's actually attending to a family matter. He very much wishes he could be here, but you will have ample opportunities to meet with him. In fact, I think next Monday there's going to be a town hall. Is that right, Robert? And I think Robert, Dr. Uh, Jones will be present at that town hall. Um, part of your family are the faculty. You know, they don't just teach the courses, they're your advisors. And I'm not kidding when I say that that is a lifelong relationship. I have been in this business as a, as a PhD for 30 years. Last week, I wrote a letter of recommendation for a student who was in the first cohort that came through my research laboratory. I was, he graduated 25 years ago. So it doesn't end. It, it just never ends. You will maintain those relationships forever. My advisor has retired, but we still stay in touch. Uh, we exchange Christmas cards every year. We talk occasionally in text. Uh, he's still very much shocked for some reason that my wife has not left me to this day. He brings this up every time. Uh, we were married in graduate school. Um, but those relationships are honest and they stay on for, for a long time. Uh, and of course, sort of the most immediate members of your family are all your peers um, and other graduate students. Um, you met some today, Robert O'Hara and Abby Roberts, who was up there in the sign-in part, um, vice president. They have a fantastic cabinet. There are representatives from all the colleges and grad student government. And you'll have an opportunity to meet with them, and you'll have an opportunity to participate in those activities if you so choose. So I think it's safe to say we're all very proud of you. You, know, you went through a highly competitive application process to be admitted to a renowned research university. This is not easy. You're special. You are part of a class of 2,682 students. Some of you are here today. Many are watching live stream. You come from all over the world. There are 746 students who are joining us from 45 countries, the farthest one, Indonesia. There are 1,936 students who come from 48 states in the United States, the farthest one being Hawaii. And for whoever came from Hawaii, this is just like being in Hawaii, right? I mean, it, it's beautiful, it's green, it's warm. We don't have oceans so close, but we have beautiful lakes. It's just like being in Hawaii. We do have probably better barbecue. So as you become, what, what you hopefully will understand is that not only are you joining a family, but you're becoming part of and you will be contributing to the reputation of Clemson as a top tier research university. And, and that is something that's very important to us. Our reputation continues to grow by leaps and bounds. And what, a driver of that reputation are the graduate students on this campus. Your Clemson graduate experience is going to involve a lot of different elements and it's going to be fantastic. You're going to get to participate in outstanding courses that will challenge you. You're going to work with experts in a lot of different disciplines. You'll get to participate in professional development, a point of pride that, um, for our campus. And you become a part of an environment that values diversity of thought. That is the mainstay of uh, an education and Clemson is at the forefront. But most of all, you get to work in an environment where you feel challenged. Right? That's part of being in graduate school. Right? This is not for the faint of heart. As President Clemens said, it's very rare. And there's a reason you're here. We know you can be successful. Your experience won't involve just the classroom or your scholarship. It's also going to involve service. And you'll have a lot of opportunities to serve the community. So I'll give you just a few examples. 
One of the things that I have prioritized since coming to Clemson is to make sure that graduate students are involved in every aspect of how the graduate school operates. So one of the first things I did was to create a graduate student postdoc advisory committee. It has two members from each of the seven colleges. And they work directly with me and other members of the graduate school to promote the agenda of the graduate school. One of the first tasks they took on was to choose artwork and, and imagery that makes the graduate school more inclusive. And so they've chosen that work and it'll be going up this year. We have member, graduate students who are members of every single committee in the graduate school. They also, we had four students who served on our strategic planning process for inclusive excellence. And whenever we do a search for any position, we include graduate students on that search committee. So you, have, you will have ample opportunity to serve. But let me be very clear about this. Whether it's the graduate school or Clemson or your community, part of being a graduate student, part of being a master's student, a doctoral student, is to serve others. That is really at the core of who we are. So how will we interact moving forward? As with any relationship, there are commitments and responsibilities. So we have a commitment to you. Our commitment is that we are putting your success as number one priority. We value communication, and so in every aspect, because, especially because we constantly deal with the changing landscape, we will communicate to you all the changes that are happening so that you understand as they're happening in real time. And we will work with you to create a community of respect and dignity. That's what we will bring to the table and much more. Your responsibility is to be agents of change, right? You're not here to follow, you're here to lead and learn how to be leaders. Your responsibility is also to communicate with us. Your input is valuable to us. You will see things from a different perspective and it can help guide us in how we do things if you're effective communicators with us. But most of all, your responsibility is to start to understand, is to start to shape the fact that you own your own future. Right? There's, no, there's no sort of roadmap for what you're going to do because you're going to create your own roadmap. There are many paths that you can take once you finish your degrees. And that's a good thing. You get to create your own destiny. So that's your responsibility. So I promise you we will do all of these things and it will be a productive time for all of us. I want to emphasize one last point that, um, that President Clements made. You know, we do live in an interesting time and there is a focus on, on safety. Clemson University has been extraordinary. We're very lucky. The way Clemson has managed the, uh, the outbreaks that have happened, I think have led the nation in terms of how to do it right. We have managed to keep our campus safe managed to control the spread of the pandemic and all of that because of the leadership that we have on this campus that really prioritized it. It didn't just talk about it, it made it a reality. And we have outstanding testing. Um, we, uh, we have outstanding folks who do data analysis, one of the top tier uh, epidemiologists who models how the pandemic is spreading. And all of this information has led to fantastic practices. You have a role to play in all of this. It's your choice, but you have a role to play in it. Wearing a mask is by far, all the data shows it, one of the most effective ways to deter the spread. It's your choice, we encourage you to do that. You will see the leadership doing it. If you can, then you're willing, the vaccines are effective. For eight years, I chaired a department of microbiology. I know about that which I speak. The vaccine is safe. I've taken it, my family's taken it, and it is liberating. If you can do it, and if, you're, if you believe in it, I encourage you to do that. But more than anything, understand that you're part of a community and we're all in this together and we're all gonna get through this together. So I hope that you'll participate uh, in, our, in our safety promotions.
So to finish up, I promise you, your experience is going to be fantastic. It's going to be a whole lot of hard work. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, I still have dreams occasionally about how much hard work it was when I went through it. But you will get through it. We know you will because you're here for a reason. And just remember, whatever happens, man, you're going to have some great stories to tell. So enjoy the day, and welcome to Clemson. Misty, back to you. All right, everyone, we finished just a little bit early, um, but it's break time, and we will reconvene here on the stage at 10 o'clock, so please feel free to get to know your neighbors. Um, restrooms are going to be located just right at the top of the stairs. If you need an elevator, you can take the, the tunnel over here around um, to access the elevator, and there is a water drink station up in the area where you checked in. All right, so we're on break until 10 o'clock. Thank you so much for being here. We appreciate you. Know what you're getting high when